Hi everyone, Emma here. I'm so excited to show you how to make these earrings. So this is one of the earrings that I've made and I'm going to show you how to do it. And this is using the Rivoli's that I got from BB Craft as part of the collaboration. So these are the 14 millimeter Rivoli's and that's what I'm using here. And um, all you need to make this earring is some Delica beads 11 O's and some 15 O seed beads so like a check bead um, rounded if possible but you can use different beads so don't limit yourself to this but I'm going to show you with these beads and you need some ear wires and um, some thread so I am using um, dragon thread size 6 and this is in the crystal. You can hardly see it. There's not much left on this one. So you need a, I'm using, I think this is a size 12 needle. It's a bit skinny. So, but you can use a size 10 for this easily. And let's take a look at the design. So let me bring this up a bit here. So this design is super easy. You make a circle at the back and then you create these they look like flower petals when you're forming them so they go around like this and then you go in to the next one and the next one all the way around and you do a second row of that but then you get to the the smaller 50 nose which will become the bezel at the front and um yeah so when you get them all together instead of being rounded they form this linear shape so again I have done these using round beads and it looks great as well but I love this linear look to me it looks like because you can see the second row you can see it from the front and it reminds me of um, um, I want to say Art Nouveau but that's not the right uh, term um, it, it's a type of jewelry from the 1920s that was really uh, very sharp angles and linear with big crystals and stuff like that so that's what these remind me of so that is awesome so let's get started um, so just remember um, this is a collaboration with BB Craft I want to take the opportunity to thank them they've been so wonderful to send me this stuff and in exchange for doing some videos, which is so much fun to do it. It always inspires me when I get things from them. So I got these, I'll just show you quickly uh, without spilling all my beads here. Um, I got them in a package of 50. They're random colors and they are incredible. So I've made a few things already with the pink ones. And this is what they look like on the back and from the side. And then here's a lavender one. There was a, there was a few lavender ones and I've already made some stuff with the lavender ones. And then all these other colors. I made a few with the, these are turquoise and they're stunning. They're really nice. So they ended up being about, um, let me see what I wrote here. 15 cents a piece. There's 50 in a bag for about um, $7.60. So definitely go take a look and see what they have. I also have some uh, 12 millimeter and they are amazing too. So, and they are about 12 cents a piece and they come in bags of 50 with random colors. So let's take a look. So what you're gonna do to start with is you're going to pick up 28 Delicas. Let me adjust my, now that I've moved my stuff around here. Get you nice and in the middle. So you're going to pick up 28 Delicas. And I've already gone ahead and done that. And then I came around and I tied 
a triple knot. You don't have to tie a triple knot and you can see the knot gets quite big once you do that, especially with this size thread. So, um, but we're not going to go through it at this point, so it's not a big deal. If I was to go through it, it might clog the hole, so just be aware of that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add a second row, but to do this, we are going to, we want to connect the second row. So if you see, here's the second row here. So we're actually going to go a bead here, four beads across and a bead down. And then we're going to loop back around and go to the next one. But when we come back, we're going to pass through this one. So we're going to do that all the way around and I'll show you what that looks like. Once you get the hang of this, you will be hooked. <laughs> so for this one here, the first thing you need is six delicas. The next ones you won't need six. This is kind of the establishing um, loop. So that's why you need six. When we get to the end, you'll see we will only need, we'll be using one of those beads. So let me see what I have here. Four, five, six. My beads are on the wrong side. Let me see if I can move this over a bit. My desk is so full of stuff. There's just, <laughs> okay. So we have six. Let me see if I can get that separated for you. And let me get this in focus. It helps for you to see. So bring this down. I have a lot of thread on here. I did, I've been doing these all weekend and um, sometimes I don't have enough thread, so that's why. Okay, so there's your six on there. Let me move this up a bit. Let's see, let's see, there's your six. So we're gonna go backwards, four beads. So one, two, three, four like this and come out and pull that through okay and you can push it into place you don't have to but you'll see what that does because this one bead here is going to stand up and it's going to catch the next set of beads we come into and this one's that last one I talked about that will be combined with the last loop and this still looks really small so let's bring this up so you can see so now because we have a combined bead here and this is the important part for you to know we only have to pick up five beads this time so it's only the first one we do six now before we get ahead and pick up beads we need to go forward four because we're always going backwards so go through four beads pull your thread through like that pick up five delicas Two, three, four, and five. Then go down this combined bead. So you go down that and you go through your beads like that. Like that. And you don't have to worry about it looking funky because it will all it will all get straightened out in the end. So now we're going to go forward four beads. Like that. There, pick up four, five beads. Make sure we got the right amount. Five. And go through this common bead. 
Now this one, we're going to go through the four. And if you feel comfortable now, you can go through the next four and you're ready for your next setup. So you can see there, it went through. I think I'm going to go through the fourth one there. So you got one, two, three, four. And you can see where the thread is. Then one, two, three, four. So now we're ready for the next set. That. Pick up five. There. And go through the combined bead through your first four and go for your next four. I would probably run out of Rivoli's doing this because it's, it's so addictive. I'm like, oh, what colors can I use? And I have a bunch of different colored uh, beads. So let's pick up five. Oh, there's a... So I had this these beads on a bead tray and there was a... Uh, it got mixed in with other beads. So there was a round bead on that. So there's five. So let's go through this combined bead through the first four and through the next four. So if you're working with different size Rivoli's, you can alter this. Just alter your circle. And I will say you should try and keep the number a uh, multiple of four so that this pattern works. But I'll tell you what, I started out with 32 on one of them and I did a accidentally missed one. I think I was going to do a 30 and I ended up with 29. When you get to the end, if there's too many beads, if there's more than four beads, don't worry. Just do the do it. You'll never even notice it in the end. So don't like stress over, you know, what you would consider a mistake because this is a very forgiving pattern. So I've got five delicates. I'm going to go through my combined bead and through my four. And we'll just do that like that for this one because the other one's a bit different. This is what we have so far. So now we're going to go through our next four, but we're going to go up that combined bead. So let me show you. There's our four beads, but because we want them all connected, and that's why we had six on this one. So there's how we're going to incorporate that one. Now what that also does is normally we would pick up five. I'm trying to think, do I need to pick up? No, because we have our, yeah, so we only need, because we've picked up this bead, this is considered one of the beads. So if we were going to pick up five, subtract this one. So now we only need four beads because we're going to come down this combined one as well. I hope that makes sense. And if it doesn't, just trust me. <laughs> Many wouldn't. <laughs> Don't trust Emma. She tells you all lies about beating. And we've gone through everything with those four beads. And pull it tight. So at this point, when we pull that last one tight, the other ones, we left them kind of loose. You can see it's, but I think I might leave it a bit loose. The next row is really going it, to, it's starting to curve up these little, what I call them flower petals. They're starting to curve up. Okay, so now we're going to go to the next 
row. And let me show you on the earring what that is. So we've done is this row and this row. So now we're going to do this row here. To do this row, it's basically the same as what we did here. It looks different here because we've done something to it. So, and I think we, I'm just going to double check my amount because I changed this design. So we need one, two, three, four, five, and six. That's what I thought. So now we're going to the 50 nose. So let's me go. I am going to go to the next row and go through just the top ones, not the side ones. So there's a side one and there's a side one. Let me show you. There's a side one and there's a side one. So my thread is coming up from that one there. I'm going to go through these. We're going to do the same. We're going to go backwards. So let's go through just the four delicas and we're going to pick up six 50 no check beads and you can actually start kind of pulling a bit so one two three four five six i'm gonna bring this so you can see what we're doing okay so i have i thought i had six sometimes um they fall off the needle and sometimes I can't count <laughs> that's probably more the case so let's open that up so there's your six okay so now we're gonna go through the same one we just went through going backwards through those four beads And like that. Simple. Now, I'm trying to remember if I went, if I added my bead here at the beginning or at the end. Let me see if, it, if I can tell. I don't think it's going to matter. Let's try going through. So pick up a 15-0. And you can add a bigger bead, but the what the 15 no does when this gets cinched tight here, it really pops this up. So let's go through these four beads like that. And you'll see it'll bring everything in like that. Okay, so now pick up six. six go backwards just through the delicas through these four delicas like that and you want to bring these tight not like crazy tight but tight enough that that delica that we added really pulls everything in not to worry if it doesn't get tight for you at the end once we're all done you can go through it and just go through these guys with the little 15s in there so i love 15 oh beads you know it's funny when i first started beading i really was like <laughs> okay don't waste my time with these 15 o's they take too long to get <laughs> To make anything with now I'm like why was I thinking that they're so beautiful and it blows me away that they actually make something this tiny so now go backwards through the four delicas that we just went through with our six 50 nose so don't forget as well with BB craft they have offered a 10% discount it the discount uh, coupon code is Emma 10 and it is on your entire order yay and they also offer uh, free shipping after $25 so that is super cool so 
It's my new favorite store. <laughs> I have many. <laughs> so let's go pick up six. See what I have here. There's six. Come backwards. Just skip that fifteen O just through the four. I have watched so many videos on bezeling in the last week. I'm enjoying myself, but I'm like I'm trying to make notes and there's just too much. But it's so much fun. So I picked up a 15 0. Now I'm going through the four delicas. You can see it's really starting to pop. Now these little 15 0 uh, petals are like just dangling down. Don't worry, we're going to fix that. <gasps> it's magic. The beating magic continues. We got a nice storm yesterday. Well, today, I guess. Last night. And it's... The trees are hanging very low. So far, I haven't heard of any issues. I'm sure there's car accidents out there. Oh, that's one too many. So there's six. Oh, I need to put my little 15 in there. So there, put my 15 and go through. Ah. Babes. The magic is getting ready to happen. Pick up six. So there's six. Go backwards through the delicas. Okay, that's the last one. We're going to put the little delica in there. Let's see if we can pull that tight. I'm going to go across through those four delicas. Sometimes when I'm pulling something tight like this, I'll go through a few configurations. So let's take a look. That's going to fit nicely. Okay. So now let me see how many, so we did one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we're just going to skip one bead. And I apologize, I had to think about what I was doing. So let's take a look at the back where our thread's coming out. So our thread is coming out of the Delica. Let's go through the 15 0 in between. We're going to set our thread up for the next step. So we'll go through that 15 0 that's combined in between those delicas. Pull your thread through like that. Okay. Now we are going to go up through this first set of delicas and we're going to come all the way except for the last one and that's where the magic happens you can alter this and do skip two so when i say don't go through that last one you could not go through the last two and do it do what we're going to do it um it's up to you it creates a totally different design it looks amazing so i'm pulling that in so now we're going to uh, we're going to add a 15 0 and we are going to skip the first one of this next set. So let's skip the first one. So we're going through four. We're going to skip the last one. Watch what happens. Do it nice and slow. <laughs> it's like magic. Ta-da. 
So it'll look even better when we like do it totally tight like that. I'm just looking at the other one. I think I may have used bigger beads. No, they're the same size. It's just buttons. Okay, it's that's fine. It's just um, I did one other step at the end, so let's pick up one. 15 oh, skip the first bead of the next set, go through four beads like that. So you can see it's starting to come together. So this is what I was looking for. If you see here, there's like a diamond pattern. Once we get everything on and tighten it with our bezel in there, what we're going to do is we're going to skip going through this to tighten these guys and it'll really make it pop to the outside. You don't have to do that, but I kind of like this bead sticking out a bit. It makes it look like prongs on a gemstone. So that's why I like it. So let's take a look. We need to add a 15. Oh, these ones didn't have it. How did I miss those? That's no big deal. <laughs> so like, I missed two entire rows. So let's go back to adding these six sets. So you're going to go through this guy here. Not a big deal. Mistakes happen. It's not. Nobody died. I worked in nursing. <laughs> So that's actually something you'd say. Don't worry, nobody died. <laughs> so let's go through. We're going to go through the 15O that's combined and this set of four delicates. Then we're going to add our petal. It'll be a funny uh, rose with petals missing. I can't believe I mean, I'm still looking at it in in disbelief that I let, forgot to put those in there. Let's go four, five, and six. When we were really busy, so I worked on a med search floor, you would get patients coming back from the emergency or the. Uh, The OR and um, okay, so we're gonna put a fifth. Oh, there is one there. So I put one and I didn't add the thing. That's weird. Okay, let's do our other one and we'll go backwards so that we're in the right spot here. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, if if it was really busy where we got a lot of patients, what we would do is we would just do vital signs and checking the wounds and stuff like that. Like you didn't have time to um, you know, bathe them and stuff like that. Because they're all covered in betadine and whatnot. So that's one of the things we would do is bathe them and it would help them. It would refresh them and it would um, help them uh, come that wake up. So now I'm going to go down so normally you wouldn't have to do this. Uh, I'm starting to be a trademark of mine, <laughs> making mistakes. I just turned it a bit so we know to go backwards. Because this is the last one we combined, so we want to be over here. So let's go down through the bottom to do that. So just go through these guys. Like that. And we'll go up that tube, the Delica. Um, and then we'll go up and around, okay?
we had I had this one nurse I don't know why I think about her often <laughs> and I shouldn't maybe I haven't let go of it yet <sighs> she was yeah I don't know what to say about that <laughs> I'm just making sure that we got yeah we got that one so I think we can go through this one I am going to skip that one just to get over here. So let's remember I said to not go through the last one like that. Yeah, so we had a nurse that was. I'm trying to be polite. I think the word is lazy. <laughs> and she was so good at it. She would take her break when her patients were due for treatments. Okay, so we're gonna skip that first one. We're gonna go through four, and we're gonna skip the last one. And let's see if I can show you the little diamond pattern develop. Like that. Okay, so we'll just continue doing that. One time, she knew, like, the ER or the OR would call us saying, um, your patient's in recovery. Um, we're just waiting for this and that. They should be coming up soon. Guess who's going on break? <laughs> you get a prize. Your prize is a patient coming out of the OR. And... Uh, so this one patient came back and of course it was busy so we're just basically triaging doing vital signs and um, this patient had had the um, angiogram and they they go through the um, the artery in the leg in the groin and the gentleman that had this procedure told us he's because we told him what to expect when he got out of the OR and he said I sleep with my um my legs bent I think and we're like well you can't do that and probably what we should have done was um used restraints on his legs because if you bend your knees after it opens up the wound and that's probably one of the strongest arteries in your body so when they come back from surgery they take like tensor band-aids like whole rolls and they tape it together and then they jam it in there really hard like on the groin area and then they tape it on top and that's to create that pressure to stop the bleeding and it will naturally with the platelets stop the bleeding right well of course I walk in the room and his legs are bent and I'm like oh crap I take the sheet back and I'm like okay she walks back from her break and she's like should I call the doctor? I'm like, well, I can't say what I said, but <laughs> there was a few choice words and I said, yes, call the doctor. This is an emergency. So look at what we have. A nice little cup for a Rivoli. So let's put it in there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go around and we're going to pick up just those four beads. And okay, I didn't do the last one, but that's fine. We can do it here. So I pick up a 15O and skip that one and go through the four like that. So at this point, you could do any type of little filigree design you want to do. And we'll just pull it tight. You can see, look, oh, it looks like mine. Wait a minute, it's in his mind. So I'm just trying to get the the Rivoli centered but it'll do that when we go around and just pick up the sets of four beads so there's a set of four like that skip that one go through 
two to four. And, and you can go through, and we were going to go through that, so we'll go through that one too, to make it nice and tight. But this is basically it. Like, how easy is this? And it looks stunning. You know, you could put little crystals in here. Go through the four. She was funny, that nurse, too, because by the time, this was just before I retired, by that time, you could wear scrubs, and they have some really nice uniforms that you can wear. She would still wear, like, these elegant white dresses that were nursing uniforms with like some of them had um lace and everything <laughs> she was really tall and skinny like she looked like she just walked off a movie set <laughs> like, it's, it's different people eh? different strokes that bead is popped up for some reason It's not happy. We'll, um, actually, let's do that right now. Let's take this and go around. No, you know what? I'll leave it for a sec because I want to tighten the rest of this. And then we'll go through that one and fix it. So we'll just skip that one and go through the next four. It might have been because I was tightening. Sorry, guys. And I had another nurse. I don't know. I can't remember who coined this phrase, but they called it called her Nurse Doyoy because she was so dumb. <laughs> like. You're giving us a bad name. Okay, so let's go down and tighten these little diamond. Uh, I think maybe I want to tighten these guys first. But we need to go down through these guys to do that. So let's just do these and just do the Actually, we can go through the um, the 15s as well. So just go around this circle to tighten it. And that might take up some of that. I think there was a bit of extra thread, and that's why that one bead is sticking up funny. So we'll fix that one. Go through. I used to um, place McDonald food orders through the uh, intercom system. <laughs> I'd be in a room with a patient, and one of the nurses at the nurses station would call through. They'd go, they'd check every room. They'd say, hello, is uh, Nurse Emma there? And then, so the one time I was doing something with a patient, I said, yeah. I said, I turned to him, I said, do you want like a burger with fries? And he's like laughing. So I'm like, yeah, can I get two burgers with fries and a milkshake? <laughs> we need you at the nurse's station, Emma. <laughs> they were so serious. I'm like, that's no fun. Actually, the, the ward clerks, I love them. Man, they saved us from doing a lot of work. Because they actually had the ability to copy the doctor's orders onto the sheet. 
so that it actually made sense. So they knew how to read the doctor's notes. <laughs> and then they would just bring it to us and we had to sign off on it to verify that that's what it was. But still, that was a lot of saving us a lot of work. And then they would... Um, my biggest thing is they answered the phones. Oh, the phones on a nurse's station at a nurse's station rang constantly. So now I'm just going through the 50 nose to get my nice, neat little diamond patterns. Let's go through with this one. And I actually didn't do this on the other one, and it was fine. So if I think if your tension is good at the beginning then it's fine but if you're like me you're just learning your tension then you know don't stress out if it looks kind of funny things are sticking out just go and go through it again and make it nice and tight or looked polished one time when I worked in North Carolina at a uh, psychiatric facility we got a patient that um, was um, developmentally challenged it was an older lady and she was a smoker and you know I can't even remember why she would is admitted clearly she had a mental illness and it was needing hospitalization but um, they had this beautiful, um, I forget what they call them. It's like a, in the middle of the building or the floor is a um, open area and it's all glass encased and it has trees and like a beautiful garden. So it was great. We could take patients out. At that point, patients could still smoke outside. So we could take the patients out there to smoke. And uh, so we were told, me and my girlfriend worked together all the time. We were told she is a smoker. She's not allowed to smoke. She's got terrible COPD. She's not allowed to smoke. But they had cigarettes at the nurse's station for her. I'm like, oh, she doesn't smoke. What are we doing? So I think this. No, I guess. I was going to say there's too many beads here, but so this is the one I had problems with, but we'll straighten it out because that's how I roll. <laughs> so anyway, um, poor lady, she'd come to the nurse's station, want to smoke, want to smoke. Okay, after the first four hours of her banging on the nurse's station. Want to smoke? Want to smoke? Want to smoke? Me and my friend looked at each other and we're like, are you thinking the same thing I am? We're like, okay, let's just quickly take her out for a smoke and then quickly take her back. So we um, get her out there and we light the cigarette for her because she wasn't allowed to touch it. <laughs> there was rules. She puts her lips to that cigarette and she inhaled half the cigarette in one inhale. And her lips and nose started turning blue. So actually she must have had the cigarette in her mouth because um, me and my friend looked at each other and were like, oh shit, like there's, this is not right. <laughs> we're in so much trouble. <laughs> this poor lady. So uh, we had to like smack the cigarette out of her mouth and we're like pushing her to get her back inside so we can administer oxygen. And, oh my gosh. So this is pretty much done for that part. So let's go ahead and add the ear wire. So we're up here. It does look a bit like... I feel like this one's not attached. Why that's not sitting right. Pull it out. There. There we go. 
Okay, so we are coming out of this little bead here. And let me see what I did here. I did add a little section of Delicas to the top. And then we're going to put the loop there. So let's see which bead I came out of. So I came out of the Delicas. So let's go to the next strand so that I'm coming out of a Delica like that. So then I added one, two, three, four, five, six, seven delicas. Okay, there's seven. That. And we're coming out of this delica here. We are going to go in to the next. So we're going to skip the middle delicas and we're going to go into the next one. Like this. Okay. So like that. So now I'm just going to turn it down so we can come back around. So we're going to use one of these down delicas. And at this point, you could actually tighten this if you want. Let me see what it feels like. It's, yeah, it's loose. So let's go through this. And tightening the back might uh, straighten out the front, so it's always good. Just use your nail to move things around. There. And there was our first knot that we got started, so it's pretty much concealed but it didn't interfere with getting through anything. So it's always nice. And go through. So we're coming around to where we want to be in the first place. So go through there, and you can pull that tight, and that's lovely. And just adjust the front accordingly. Accordingly. So this one has. Oh, we skipped a bead here. is easy enough to fix. Let's go forward and fix that one. Go through. I don't know if this will do it, but we'll see. And you can see the thread there. I don't want to see that. Um, did I not go through the right one? Came back around and missed it entirely. I wonder if it was this one that was... Nope, it's this one here. Let's see if I can come out with this one. There, okay. Let's 
still not going through properly. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to come back around on that. And I'm going to use this loop to go around and come back. Something's fishy here. Okay. So I need to pick up that bead here. This one that's sitting low. Like that. There. Then go through these guys. I know what I did. So that the... The bead might have been sitting in a different spot, and I picked it up when I was going by. So that should take care of that, and let's get this guy in the correct. Position here. Let's get back up here. I don't know why I'm reaching so high here. And stay there. And we'll just put the little design on. Just go through this guy. Okay. So now we're going to go up. around so we don't see our thread there and we're going to go through the 15 and then come around there like that so now we have seven beads on here two four six seven so we're going to put I'm trying to think if I did that correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I um, we're gonna go through the first five like this. And we're going to add four delicas. And then we're going to come back around to two. Like that. And we're going to go through them twice. Like that. Like that. And then go through here. And go down through your beads. So there you have your earring. So I'm just going to bring this to the back here and tie it off. thread here, wrap this around, one, two, bring it down, hang on to that knot, and go through the next set of beads, like that, clip that off, ta -da. Can get that over a little bit there and you've got your ear wire just pop that in there like 
that and we'll close that. And there you go, your lovely earrings. Ta da! <laughs> so, thanks for joining me. I apologize for that little whoopsie do at the end there. But, um, you know, I find that with bezeling, sometimes, you know, if you're if you're not totally paying attention, <laughs> you'll skip a bead or something like that. It's very easy to correct those mistakes, so don't stress out. Just go back and take a look. And uh, so I would probably go through this one again to make it more rounded. And all you have to do is just go through those beads and tighten it nice to a nice little circle. But uh, so thank you so much to BB Craft for this collaboration and for these lovely uh, Rivalese. So take a look. I'll put the links in the description. And don't forget that Emma 10 gets you 10% off your entire order and uh, free shipping after $25. So take care and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.